Welcome to a tour of it on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show an extended and somewhat complicated example of doing stylized windows by using the color, background, border, and corner radius macros in connection to a previous example we saw in another video. So in a previous video, we created an example such that we could click on a link and it would open a window type thing that would show us information we had. And in that video, we looked at keys as a kind of simple value to track. So the example was you might have an inventory system where instead of showing the inventory values, you can have a user click on something and pop something up or show them in what might be called a modal or a window. This example takes it one step further and stylizes that previous example. So let me go over how I've constructed this. So it's going to seem a little complicated, but it's building on lots of ideas that I've shown across this series on Harlow 3.3. So let's start with the most simple thing. We are setting up a story-wide variable keys to the value zero. Next, we're creating a hidden hook. Notice the use of parentheses and not the normal greater than sign. And we've got the hook right here. Inside this hook is two different things. The first is a float box right here. And remember, a box within Harlow is just the ability to divide a passage up into subsections. We can use box. A float box allows us to float things in positions to the page instead of the passage. So this says center of the page. Notice X marks the spot, Y marks the spot, and the two equal signs are, are the column columns or space around it. So in the middle of horizontal X and in the middle of horizontal Y. Then inside its hook is a display macro, which allows us to include the contents of one passage in another. And we'll look at inventory in just a moment, but keep that in mind. It's going to be in a whole nother passage. Next, I have something called controls. So this is just a normal named hook called controls. Notice the greater than sign instead of the parentheses. And it has a link rerun. Link rerun allows us to rerun code that's within a hook it's attached to every time we click on a link. And this works with the previous example I showed in another video of hide and show. The hide and show macros allows us to hide and show, correspondingly, a hidden hook or other enchantments in which they've been hidden or shown. So what this does is this starts with this being hidden up here. So this entire chunk of code will be hidden to us as a player. Next, when we click on open inventory, so link rerun, it reruns hide controls. So this is controls, it hides itself, and it shows window, which is this up here. So hide the link, open inventory, show the window. Next, I have the use of an enchantment right here. I'm enchanting inner. Well, if you look at this passage, inner doesn't exist right here. It exists in another passage. And this is where the display passage, or this display macro comes into play with another passage. So display macro includes the contents of another passage in the current one. And inner, as you can perhaps see from the preview right here, is in another passage. But let's pause for that for just a moment. So as we've seen now across multiple videos, there are multiple changer macros we can use. And we've looked at a large number of them. Some of them are included right here, which is to say border and then a type, so solid, background, which sets the background color of a hook or other enchantment, color, which sets the text color, and a corner radius, which works with border. Remember, whenever we use border, there are a number of sister macros it has, the border size, and right here, corner radius, so that creates curved corners for us. And so I have border and corner radius, and these work together, sister macros that work together. And background and color, and these are all changer macros, which means I can chain them all together to produce one single change. So changers producing a single change as a group. And this affects inner. So let's go imp open inventory. Inventory is a named hook right here. You currently have keys, and it has a link rerun that does the reverse of the other one. Open inventory, hides the controls, shows the window. Close, hides the window, shows the controls. So it flips that back around again. And says you have currently uh, keys, which is gonna start with zero. And this is inner right here, and notice it is a named hook. So when start runs right here, it's going to pull the contents of inventory and stick it in this hook right here, which we have divided up right here to help us more easily make sense of complex code. When we click open inventory, it's going to hide the open inventory link. 
It's going to show window. Show window is going to be a float box in the middle of the screen and it's going to show inventory. Inventory is over here. When we click close, it's going to flip it and hide the window, show the controls. These are all enchanted by a border, a background, color, and corner radius. So let's all see this in play. So if I build and play, there's our seemingly simple link of open inventory. Notice the code that is in the passage right here is completely hidden from us. I don't currently see the float box. It's currently hidden as part of a hidden hook. So if I click open inventory, notice in open inventory disappeared. And now we have a somewhat nice stylized window and we can add more to it. But notice it is a combination of changer values, background color, border and corner radius to create the kind of curved corners right here. You currently have zero keys. We click close. We go right back where we started again. But to create this, we needed to know lots of different things in connection. Hidden hooks, show and hide, as well as enchantments to create that background, color, border, and corner radius. All part of changer values applying to named hooks using their names as part of enchantments. Lots of concepts building on each other across here, but notice how enchantments just fit in with the other stuff we were doing. So in a previous video, when we looked at show and hide to create the same effect, now we can do it with enchantments to stylize that window the way we want, creating borders and backgrounds and colors, as well as potentially applying other things within those as well. Lots of complicated ideas, but not too complicated, building across things we have seen across a number of videos now. Again, hidden hooks, named hooks, enchantments, link, re link rerun, float box, display, hide show, all of these things working together. Complicated, yes, but again, building on a foundation across one video to the next to the next. So if you are jumping this video and this seems really complicated to you, I would really encourage you to check out the previous videos on border, previous videos on background of color, those on show and hide, and it will break up those concepts into much smaller videos that you can then kind of revisit and see how they work, as well as the previous video on opening windows or responding dynamically to links, and then look at this video as an enchantment version of the previous example, building on the kind of complexity we've been learning across changer macros in Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.